and let's say we want to do a very specific like a uh, snake wrapping around this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do append a z-sphere. We're going to take the z-sphere, go into transparency mode so I can see it. We're going to hit W and we're going to scale this thing down. So we're going to wrap this book in a very specific way. So we're going to put one here and then we're going to hit Q, hold down shift. So you can go through here and you can start wrapping with these things, these z-spheres, you can start being very specific with these locations. And this is why one of the reasons I like these spheres, you hold down shift, that'll make it all the same um, width. And you can go through here, you can hold down Q or you tap Q and you can kind of just start wrapping these things. If you want to make these a little bit nicer, you can add little divisions between them and you can get more precise, get as precise as you want. So let's say this is uh, what we want wrapped around our book here. So now that we have that and we want to do pre very precise placements for the start and stop, what we can do is we can do the old method we, we showed you, not the old method, the manual method, which is if you hit A, you're going to see that's our adaptive skin. So then you can append this skin Z sphere here, going to solo mode. And it's like, okay, let's get rid of these caps here. And this is also in an Ask ZBrush, by the way, if you ever want to follow up on this thing. Hit Control W, make it all in polygroup, and then we can do a polygroup poly loop. So this one, this one, grab these ones, delete hidden. And then we can do our, what we just did, stroke. And if you want to smooth these out a little bit, go ahead and do, uh, we can do a sort polish by features. We talked about open circle. You can just kind of polish those out nicely and they'll kind of smooth it out. You can also go in here with your move brush and kind of just tweak these things just a little bit. Um, and then we're going to go to curve functions. We're going to frame that polygroup mesh. And then we'll just use our trusty Pez dispenser here to drop our, our pipe or our snake in this case along that curve. And if you want to embed it more, that's where you go into the depth. Depth here. I kind of embed it a little bit better. Now, if you want to skip all that stuff, you can go to, now instead of doing an adaptive skin, there's a plugin, uh, kind of a script you can download as long as you have a start and an end point. And I'll show you what that is in just a second. You can go to, put that in your Z plugins. It's called Curves Helper. You can hit Copy Z Sphere Chain. And then you can go to a tool that you want to add that z-sphere chain to. Any of these will be fine. We'll put on this book star here. And then we can do create curve. And that'll go ahead and create the curve for you. And then along that curve, you can go ahead and just drop your curve here. So that's another way to really control uh, where your object's going to go along that curve. And where that is, useful small scripts and macros for ZBrush 4R8. On this thread here, you're going to see curves helper and then you can install it from there. So have fun with that one. Oh, and while you have a curve, you can change this at any time. This is one of the things I love ZBrush. You can go brush, um, insert. If you want to change that to say, I don't know, scales, you can just go through here and tap this and just update it with whatever you want. Or if you want it to be, uh, hit M, stitches or a hose. Here's a specific hose that you can 